Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at NSLOOKUP. NSLOOKUP is a command line utility that is found on most modern operating systems to include Windows and Linux. And we can use NSLOOKUP to query and find domain names, IP addresses, and other types of DNS records that can help us in our troubleshooting and in our investigative work. In this example, I'm going to do a NS lookup for Google.com. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter and we'll get back some information about some DNS records that belong to Google.com. So it comes back and it tells us that it queried DNS.Google using the IP address of 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 and it came back and it gave us the name of the domain for this particular query which is Google.com and the IP address for the non-authoritative server was 216.58.192.110. This is the non-authoritative answer. And what this means is when a name server is not in the list for the domain you did a lookup on. In this next example, we're going to use NSLOOKUP to look for a specific type of DNS record. In this case, we're looking for the name server record for Google.com. I'm going to go ahead and just hit enter. And it comes back and it gives me all of the name servers that are currently listed with Google.com. And so you can see by the information that we retrieved, I get the name of the name server, but I also get the IP address and the IP version 6 address. In this next example, we're going to do a NS lookup for the start of authority record. Now the start of authority record contains the information about the primary DNS server plus some other administrative information. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And there's no surprise here that the primary name server that we're looking at is ns1.google.com. And you can see all the other servers that are listed as secondary to this primary name server, NS1. Now of particular interest to most of us would be the location or the address of the MX records. These are the exchange servers that belong to Google.com. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit enter. And it comes back and it tells me or it gives me the names of all the exchange servers as well as their IP addresses for IP4 and IP version 6. Now you may want to forego the query of individual records and just pull down every DNS record that is registered for that domain name. Now to do this we can use the any switch. So I've got dash type equals any. And for this query, I'm going to use a different domain name. I'm going to use cloudns.net. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And you see that pulls up quite a bit of information about all the different DNS records that are available for this domain. Now, once you have all this information, you can pick and choose which records you want to further query to get more information about. Now, another great switch that we can use with NSLOOKUP is the debug. In this example, I'm going to use NSLOOKUP space dash debug space the name of the domain. In this case, I'm just going to use Google.com. Now, we're going to get a lot of good information here because debug is going to be asking questions. And then the server is going to respond with the answers. So this is very helpful. Let's go ahead and do this. And you can see that we get questions. Google type dash a class equals in and we get the answers down here you see so we get a lot of good information back by doing a debug query so in this short video presentation we got to look at the NS lookup command line utility now this is a good utility for administrators it can be used for troubleshooting problematic networks and problematic areas with our DNS servers and our DNS records that are located on the internet. So if you have any questions or you have any concerns about anything that was covered in this short video presentation, 
Please don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.